Four years ago, the Nazi beast got loose and rampaged across Europe, conquering all it could. Now, the conquered wait for invasion, for ships and airplanes to put an army ashore in France and drive the beast back to Berlin. Ahead of the invasion, we have parachuted in to help the French resistance. We must unite them into an army, creating mayhem behind the front lines. We are called the Jedbergs. Our mission is classified. Hello, my friends. Welcome to a first look at Classified France 44. This is uh, an alpha build released to a limited few, but it appeared in my inbox. It is brought to you by Team 17 and uh, Absolutely Games. Absolutely Games, I think, is a new publish, uh, new development studio. But Team 17 should be familiar to all you oldies out there as the company that made Worms. A key part of my childhood, uh, and truly one of the most fun games I'd ever played, hot seating with like three other people in front of an old PC. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Worms, we're here to talk about Classified France 44. Not really sure uh, what the game is like going in. The most intense classified France 44 experience. Recommended for players who don't make mistakes. Okay. Never Iron Man. Never Iron Man a new game. Never, ever, ever. I'm gonna say it every time I we see are the We're parachuting into France to make contact with the resistance. We're a three-man team with orders to set the country ablaze. I'll introduce you. Tom King, a strung out Britisher, who likes explosives a bit too much. It's Barry! No, I'm just kidding. Vincent, our scout, a quiet Canuck. And myself, Willard Cassidy, who runs this outfit on a captain's salary of 200 bucks a month. My heart belongs to the Lord, but I am going into the shadows to fight a godless foe. Wow, this we is very World War II. Things immediately go wrong. In high winds, we get separated, blown apart, well away from the drop zone. Tom and I land close together. No sign of our resistance contact, but the area's flush with krauts. After we ditch our chutes, Tom and I find a farmer's barn to hole up in and check our bearings. All right, I really they're going for the... The World War II language of the time, which is not politically correct, but is immersive. We should hold tight here till the heat's off. This is an alpha Fuel's build. flying monkeys have other plans. Oh, so much for a warm welcome. I have my name floating around everywhere. Moving out. Ah, oh, I can feel Bradford already. Alpha One, move to this exact tile. Okay, yes. switch characters with tap. Moving out. All right, press backspace Too to far. end turn. Can I not end turn some other way? Okay. Swell, a target. Shh, enemy. That's a lot of goons. Switch to your melee attack. This guy is literally, or appears to be, looking forward here. Touch now, woman. Uh, 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 uh. 
Each time you silently kill an enemy, the ambush meter increases. When the meter is filled, your team immediately launches an ambush and gains an extra turn. That's an interesting mechanic. Movie. Shanky, shanky. Uh. Good night, sweetheart. They're on this place like flies on shit. Wow, it's very, it feels it sounds like, a like good excuse to make a mess. Phantom Doctrine a little bit right now. Moving out. Hi, D ho, I got a target. Chew on that. What is this? What is that? He's taking a shine to you, will it? They will turn to face it immediately, then investigate on their next turn. Oh, that's. That tiny tile is a bush, and the bush provides stealth. No. Sorry. Okay. Moving out. You have to select the melee attack first. <clears throat> have that. It's now or never. Weapons free. Fire costs only one AP. How many AP have I got? Twelve? It's kind of crazy. I'm out! I have to reload! Barely on solid ground, and we're already painting the fields red. Well, it said it used 1 AP, but I just used all 12 AP there. Moving out! Out you come, boys. Time enemy, an enemy enters your earth watch, you can choose to fire. Bad idea, amigo. Tom, you got a shot on him? He's in cover, but I reckon I've got an angle. Do not have a target. Not a chance. Hmm. Am I in the wrong spot or something? Is the game broken? I refuse! Not a chance!
fire on the enemy. Press space to confirm your target. I refuse! Not a chance! Not a chance! Not a chance! No! I refuse! Not a chance! Uh... Huh. I think he's supposed to have a shot on this guy, but... I don't actually have a shot on this guy. I refuse! Is it bugged? I mean, this is an alpha build. This is like very alpha, so... It's not surprising to see problems like this. Not a chance! Especially no. in a tutorial that controls every action. Start this and see if it fixes. We should hold tight here till the heat's off. Fuhrer's flying monkeys have other plans. Oh, so much for a warm welcome. Moving. Guys are saying enemy spotted as well, even though they haven't. Moving out. <clears throat> Good night. <laughs> Hush now, Herman. <sighs> Moving out. <clears throat> You're mine. <clears throat> Good night, sweetheart. Let's just race through this again. They're on this place like flies on shit. Sounds like a good excuse to make a mess. Moving. Swell, a target. <laughs> Is Diamond? Character name. He's taking a shine to you, will it? Okay, the spot where I'm supposed to be. <clears throat> it's now or never. Weapons free. Hip fire costs only one AP. Last round! I need a refresh! But apparently it's gonna cost me all my AP here. Barely on solid turn. ground and we're already painting the fields red. Move it! Okay. Out you come, boys. Right, we're back to where we were. Go. Enemy! Ah, oh, he came out this time. Tom, you got a shot on him? He's in cover, but I reckon I've got an angle. He did not come out last time, he stayed over there. Oh, I need to reload! Missed. But I spooked him. My turn. Whether a shot hits or misses, it does morale damage. Any unit falls to 50 morale or below, they are suppressed. Suppressed units have halved AP, reduced accuracy, and deal less morale damage. This 
aimed shot doesn't seem to be any more accurate than the previous one, though. I'm trying! Gotta reload! He's broken. See if you can flank him. Roger that. I refuse! Moving out! Reloading! Locked and loaded. Okay. This is all very standard XCOM me style stuff. I see you, darling. Yes! Ah! I'm out! I have to reload! That's more like it. It sort of actually shot. is not very dissimilar from Jagged Alliance 3 <laughs> with a World War II theme, at least so far. Moving out! Enemy sighted! I see a straggler around back. Move it! Moving out! Clear that house out, pronto. He's overwatching the door. I'll find another way in. Moving! Moving out! The fact that it only costs one AP for this guy to shoot his gun makes him very mobile. Check your six, Jerry. Roger! Oh! I'm out of ammo! Hey, he just killed three of them. That's a Jerry hat trick. <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> Move it! Clear. Aside from all the bodies, of course. Then let's move out. We gotta get to that rendezvous. Indeed. Vincent must be worried sick. Alright. After we escaped the dry gulch in the barn, we had to lie low while Adolf's fan club hunted for us. <laughs> Tom and I shake club. off the Germans. We strike out to try and find Vincent, and our resistance contact Charles. Vincent's chute came down somewhere near a German radio station. I think things are about to get hotter. I love it. It's like the notebook from Fallout Tactics. So, we're here on the map. No sign of Tremblay or Belanger. They should have been here by now. Jockey, this is Rocket. The crowds have us pinned. We need backup immediately. They're holed up at a radio station. Looks like we got a rescue on our hands. Okay. The map is divided into ten regions with three sections. Assault means missions begin in combat. Ambush means mission begins in stealth with an ambush meter. Stealth means missions begin in stealth with unlimited stealth kills and no ambush meter. So. Victory bar. Strength of your resistance army is based on the strength in each region. It will determine victory when the invasion comes.
Okay, something weird going on with your hands there, Joey. It is, it is an alpha, I shouldn't laugh, but that's, that is funny. Oh, it happened again. <laughs> what is... <laughs> that's amazing. What is going on here? Uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll iron these problems out with the game as, uh, as it goes along. That is... That is very amusing. Target it's sighted! Down. There's too many. We need backup. Let's get him out of there. That's a lot of dudes. Crack grenade time. On your feet, boys. The cavalry's arrived. I've never been so happy to hear an American. Okay, let's light them up! you throw a grenade here and get these two when you could throw the grenade here pretty much have a chance of getting them all heads up Krauts I want because I'm not allowed to choose Spray zones. A message from the king. Here goes nothing. Sidearm is cheaper than reloading your primary weapon. Now, try selecting the barrel. Bloody good show! Do a barrel roll. When an ally is reduced to zero, they become down. You cannot act for three turns after that, they will stand up and rejoin the fight. Ha! Huh, so you can... not lose? Buggy there. 
Man, they really want to drive home using the sidearm, don't they? Sidearms. Remove Overwatch. Even if you miss. This may sting a little. If the unit takes damage while down, they retreat from battle. Arise, subdued. Take care. You cannot afford another wound like that. You have diplop armor. We're clear. Reinforcements. We're not out of the woods yet. Regroup! We gotta hold them back! They do not attack on the turn they arrive. Up. Oh, camera stuck. Did he just... Put that med kit in his butt. <laughs> Looks to me like he just stuck that med kit in his butt. That's a vehicle that has hit points. Lee Enfield, number four. A solid weapon of butt kicking. Press to cycle through enemies. What do you mean, cycle through enemies? There's only one guy left. Very shortly, there's about to be one guy. More crowds on the horizon! They're not letting up. We gotta get out of here. If we destroy the radio tower, it might buy us enough time to escape. I've only been in the country for an hour, and you're already speaking my language. <laughs> okay, let me change characters. Let me move. Camera. Please. The extraction zone. Thompson. Here 
they come. Dusty! Ha! Ah, there are only two. I was expecting four. Get moving. She's gonna blow. have enough AP to get out of the blast zone. But I'm going to presume that it does not go off in one turn, because that would be kind of insane. It's like a little bit of lag between movements and stuff, which I'm not sure if it's noticeable on the stream. Um, or in the video, I should say. I'm not streaming this to anybody. Um... Having to make the conscious decision to open doors. I guess that is innately a good thing. I can't move all my guys at once. Sequential movement would be nice. sit there and blast Germans all day long. She's coming down, fellas! Welcome to France, my friends. I think I'm going to like it here. Chivo. An invasion is coming to free Europe from the Nazis. We're here to prepare the ground for D-Day. Our mission is to help the French resistance. To sabotage the Germans and build a secret army of patriots. We will form partisan groups behind enemy lines to tie up the Nazi war machine. When D-Day comes, they'll give our boys a chance to get ashore. That is our goal. Build a strong enough resistance to make this invasion possible. The clock is ticking. This is Willard Cassidy. Out. You know. <laughs> we got a choice of two people to join our merry men. Here's some Bolshevik kid. He's got the student groups fighting for him. This guy comes with a reputation as a hoodlum. Do we want him? Pick your poison, ladies and gentlemen. Who shall we go get? Okay, so... Now we are all safe, we should check our equipment. <laughs> Replacements are hard to find. Make sure you have everything you need. What amuses me is how, and I'm pretty sure that Team, Team 17 is an American company, that once again, an American company has somehow made a game about the, uh, about the French resistance of all things made this game starring a American guy. <laughs> I mean, it's like the last samurai thing again, isn't it? The, the, the last samurai, you know, was an American in the movie The Last Samurai in like what was, you know, most the most horrendous imaginable 
pill to swallow. And now here we are. The French resistance made only made possible by uh, Stuart, uh, by glorious American leadership. <laughs> oh man. Not that I am in any way diminishing the contributions of uh, America and World War II, though they came relatively late. You know, most Europeans are taught that the war was teetering on the edge of, uh, of being won before America actually declared and got fully involved. Largely because Germany was getting just attritioned into the dirt in, in Russia. And the casualties really reflect that. But um, obviously the French resistance had a huge role to play. Um, but I don't remember it being led by an American zergling. So, anyway. <laughs> um, here we are. But the game itself looks really good. It does have this... It does have this Jagged Alliance 3 feeling in that we've got a strategic map with sectors to take. The gameplay has that same as Jagged Alliance 3. It's got that XCOM style and mechanics, but with with obviously AP. The stealth kill system's pretty sweet. And then of course we've got the loadout system, which will certainly be interesting to look at. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it for the first impressions. First impressions, pretty good actually. Seems like the kind of game I would play. Um, but obviously if you think that the uh, the JA3 slash XCOM timeline is the darkest timeline, then this game is not going to be for you. Um, but at least we're, we're, we're tackling a subject matter that is a little bit different from all the usual World War II games. In that uh, I don't think the French Resistance has been particularly covered that much in video games. So, uh, it should be interesting, even if um, your squad is not led by a, um, not led by a French guy. Although we do have quite, we have a selection here, but I think we have, no, we've got the full spectrum. We've got an American, a Brit, a French guy, and a Canadian. So we've got the all-inclusive unit of one guy from every <laughs> one one guy from like a different nation each, which would just never have happened in real life. But uh, but hey, it is what it is. I believe there are stories of UK, of, uh, UK British, British-led um, commando teams blowing stuff up in France, um, but that's just simply because obviously the UK was very close to France. It was uh, relatively easy to sneak people across the Channel. Um, I'm not so sure about. American paratroopers landing before D-Day, but hey, maybe maybe it happened. Maybe I'll be corrected in the comments, but it certainly doesn't feel right. But anyway, it is what it is. At the end of the day, I think the game looks fun, so that's all that matters. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>